when we talk about bioidentical hormones, that's kind of become very popular, I think, in the mm -hmm. last uh, decade or so. Which hormones are getting replaced when, when, you, when you use bioidenticals? Well, there are different hormones that you can use, but with, within the context of bioidenticals, typically testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, and DHEA. And then there's another hormone that's called pregnenolone. And all of those are hormones that are available in the bioavailable form if you choose to replace them. Not everyone replaces all of those hormones in their patients, but those are the ones that are available to be replaced if you wanted to, how do, indicated. Uh, yeah, and how do bioidentical hormones affect other hormones in the body? Bioidentical hormones do the very same thing, typically, that the hormones would have done initially. I mean, we'll never be able to do it as good as Mother Nature. So it doesn't matter how you administer a hormone. It will never be the same as it was when someone was having normal hormonal function. Um, so when you give someone estrogen, uh, estrogen has 400 functions in the body, and estrogen promotes inflammation, as one example, and estrogen downregulates cortisol. So every hormone that you give has effects on all of the other hormones, whether or not you're giving them in a synthetic form or a bioidentical form. And I think there's a big misconception that bioidenticals are safer, but they're not safer if they're not dosed properly, and they're not dosed in a proper balance, and if other aspects of a person's physiology aren't examined. For instance, if you have a liver metabolism of estrogen that's not normal, or if you have what's called dysbiosis, which is an, an imbalance between good and bad bacteria in your intestines, that will affect how your body metabolizes hormones. And so if you don't make yourself aware and test those things uh, and be cognizant of all of the systems that are affecting hormones, then you can, you can still inflict harm with bioidenticals even though they're biologically equivalent to what the person used to make.